update on this uh, war criminal Putin. Uh, two of his generals he threw in jail. It's like five or ten of his generals are dead. He sent uh, thousands of kid soldier Russian soldiers who thought they were going on a mission on a exercise. And you can look up one of my uh, past videos where I talk about how one of the kids was in a uh, Russian tank. He thought he was on an exercise. His mother texts him. And he tells her he didn't find out till about, you know, five or ten minutes ago that they were in a war. He comes out of his tank and gets his head blown off. And his, his last text to his mother that he was in a war that they had no idea what they had gotten into. You got the ghost who's a Ukrainian jet fighter pilot who uh, none of you Russian uh, pilots are going to be able to stand him. He came down from like 2 o'clock down to like 7 o'clock and obliterated a uh, Russian MiG in no time, and has shot down numerous amounts of jets. You're just not going to be able to take his ass. Excuse my language, uh, YouTube. We got people suffering, towns obliterated, nuclear plants that are past their age, that are burning. Diesel generators are running them, and uh, that's not going to last long. Oligarchs, uh, where their uh, buildings and properties have been taken, uh, their sh yachts are now being taken, The ruble is down to uh, less than a cent. The Moscow stock market is no longer. And you sit there and start wondering about everything. Oh God, oh the, all the... Orphaned kids... We had a diplomatic uh, politician come to our college back in the 80s. He was a Russian. Uh, he, would, he was from the United States. He would go to Russia to negotiate with them. And he explained to us how Russians were brainwashed and manipulated and how they thought. He was exactly right if you're watching this. You were exactly right. If you look back in history, uh, about the Russian history, it's amazing. At one time, Poland defeated Russia. You need to look that up. Look up Ivan the Great, Catherine the Great. Look all these people up. How many dictators have survived in the wars? Democracy rules, communism is out. These countries that manipulate their people and brainwash them and tell them what to do, throw their generals in jail when things don't go right and kill them, Thousands of people dead. That's genocide.
and you look at everything and you're like, wow. In the United States, we lived in a war zone on Tachikawa Air Force Base for three years while the Russians would fly over on a nightly basis while our uh, U.S. jets would go straight up after them. Well, they sent a green light and a white light all around the base every night. That was to warn us that there was Russian jets coming in. The Russians, all they do is they, they play their game, is what they like to do. They like to play a big game. The uh, Russian economy is, I believe last time I looked, is number 11. The USA economy is number 1. And, uh, I mean, look at the body count. You got the ghost from Ukraine. He's a jet uh, fighter pilot. There's nobody taking him down. He goes from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock. He's got you locked. And you're toast if you're a Russian jet fighter pilot. You're not going to... Uh-uh. You're done. America has a missile pointed at every country in the world. But we're not a part of this war. Putin started it. And now he is uh, dealing with the consequences. The Moscow stock market is no more. The ruble is less than one cent. All the oligarchs that are sitting back going, Oh, we'll do this and do that. Uh-uh, he ain't doing nothing. He don't care about you. He don't care about your buildings. Uh, uh, Italy has taken the richest man's uh, bill uh, in Russia's buildings. They've taken his yacht. And Russia is frying. In America, I studied... Um, uh, business administration, uh, master's business administration, where they taught us that there is a missile pointed at every country from the United States of America. Sink the yachts! Apparently, some dude went, I don't know what he did, but there's a yacht out there that's sinking. A hundred million dollar yacht. Ukraine has four nuclear plants that are past their age and before, from a physicist's point of view. Because my friend was the best physicist in the world. He invented the bending of argon gas. He invented, invented the laser gun on the space shuttle. He invented the freezing of people, cryonics, through Alcoa. He knew about the universe and galaxies. He was a total genius. People... Why the destruction? When those nuclear plants go, there's going to be a radiation dust cloud, which, which, this is not to like go, oh, Putin, watch out, watch out. No, you are destroying yourself if you're watching this. Because the winds go from north to east, Chernobyl's about to blow. If it does blow, all you Russian soldiers that are guarding that place will be melt. You will melt. You'll be melted. There will be nothing of you. The f that's not a joke. That's that's reality. 
This is phys physicist, physicism. The forest around you will burn up and a dust cloud will go northeast over to Moscow, which that's the way the winds blow. And you will have, uh, when it rains, you'll have radiation fallout. Which means you're going to catch radiation and that means your time... You will have a certain amount of time that you will live. That's about it. You'll catch radiation poisoning. Your liver or kidney will be fried. Your organisms won't work right. And there will be people dropping dead in Moscow. That's, that's scientific proven evidence. That's what's going to happen. This is reality. And then Russia will be, if they do win, they'll be left with a country that has radiation all over it. Which will, uh, will take centuries to rebuild. And what do we have left? A world that is partially destroyed. Destruction. And then the rest of the world, for the rest of their life, will have to deal with, well, is it going to come our way? Are we going to have to worry about radiation fallout? Yes, we are. That's what's going to happen. Whether the war is won or not, you're going to be dealing with a country that has four nuclear plants that are just bad. They're past their age limit. Chernobyl is run off of... Uh, off of uh, diesel generators, which ran out of uh, diesel fuel apparently a couple weeks ago. That's what they were saying. Uh, Chernobyl has a uh, number four reactor capped. And the other three reactors are basically melting. And when those rods are gone, you're going to have three, uh, three pools of radiation... Basically a hydrogen bomb. And if uh, if, a, if a missile or something was ever to hit that, huh, we're talking mass destruction. And this guy's not giving up. So... Uh, genocide, thousands of people dead. For what? An oil pipeline that didn't go correct with him. Politics. Money. Greed. And evil. Now you got all these other countries all worried about everything. It's like, well, you need to be worried about everything. And you need to look at everything because when when Ukraine ends up with nothing and Russia is sitting there trying to figure out what they're going to do, no. They're not going to be able to do. They might end up melting from the radiation dust cloud. People are... People are...
killing each other over stupidity where we could have free electricity we could have all the oil we needed in the world we could have all the gas we needed we could have free electricity they don't want free electricity imagine if you could drive down the road with an electric car and you didn't have to pay for gas. And you didn't have to pay for the electricity. It just ran itself. No, they don't want that. Because they want to manipulate you. We could have radiant energy from the earth that creates free electricity. We could have free electricity around the world. Nikola Tesla already proved it. But J. Paul Getty and J.P. Morgan and Edison didn't like him. Because they would have gone broke over the whole thing. Something to think about over some idiot that decided to invade people. But right, because he wanted to make it uh, the Soviet Union again. Crazy. The dude is crazy. There's no stopping him. He's a real threat. And if you're Russian, you need to run. We've got Russians trying to get in from Mexico to the United States, and the United States are like, no, we're not letting you in. We don't know if we can trust you. You could be a double agent for all we know. Yeah. Some really serious... They never built the wall in America over down there on the border because you can't build a wall through the desert. We got this other guy, uh, Trump, who was our past president, who thinks Putin is a genius. Well, he's got investments in Russia. Well, so just go to fucking Russia, Trump. We don't need you here. Make America great again. What's so great about America? You made this happen. You said it before it even happened that it, that if he doesn't get elected, things really bad will happen. Well, that's because you got investments in Russia. How much are your investments worth now? Nothing. The ruble is less worth less than a cent. The Moscow stock market has crashed. Yachts are seized. Millions of dollars or billions of dollars of investment property is gone. Yeah. And how many dictators that you know have survived? Leave a comment below. Let me know how many dictators have survived throughout the world. Throughout the years. Look at history. None. The Russian people are brainwashed. You got kid soldiers from Russia that thought they were on an exercise that were shot dead.
This is not propaganda. This is reality. And if it keeps going on uh, sooner or later, we're basically... Uh, We'll be uh, destroying each other. There'll be nothing left of this planet. Imagine some other side of the planet is so messed up. It's got radiation rain. It's got nuclear plants that are on fire. And they're going... And, and all you other countries are going, well, is it going to come our way? It's like, yeah. The radiation rain is going to come your way. It's going to, a dust cloud will form. It'll come over your way. And eventually you'll, you'll basically get radiation poisoning and die. And, and for centuries, it will take to rebuild all this. I mean, look, look, look at Ukraine. There's really nothing left uh, of anything. Would you live in a country where everything was destroyed that's communist? I doubt it. I doubt it, seriously. So we're basically dealing with a psychopathic idiot that has planned this for years. And, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody comes along and sh shoots him in the head. Two generals, uh, jailed be in Russia because they didn't go along with him. And it was five or ten generals in Russia that are dead. So the generals are gone. While this dude sits there with some hundred, uh, fi worth five hundred billion dollars or some crazy thing, he's got these mansions and these yachts. And it just really doesn't look like it's gonna pan out. It doesn't look like he's gonna serve. It looks like a coup's gonna happen where somebody just comes along and shoots him right between the damn eyeballs. And he's done. And they give their life up for it. That's what it's looking like. Because that's what always happens with all these dictatorships if you look back at history. And you'll see that. So... Peace out, people. God bless everyone. I'm sorry for all the suffering. If you lost somebody, or your kid's been orphaned, or you're sitting there going, oh, what's going to happen with all this? It'll pan out eventually, and everybody will look back and go, oh, that was some idiot that thought he was going to, you know, do this and do that. Look back at Ivan the Great or Catherine the Great, or Poland in history, who actually defeated uh, Russia at one time. Go look back at everything, and how everything came about. And Putin, you are not no judo dude. I took judo in Japan for three years. I could flip you over my ass so quick and slap you on the ground of your back. Pop you in the head one time and that'd be it for you.